one week we were in Chamonix. We had a really good competition. I had a, I had luck that my run was quite okay, so I ended up ninth. Went home directly, and now I drive over here to Saint Moritz. It's great blue day. There is a, a lot of snow. The base is good. We we didn't had uh, new fresh snow, but um, still looks okay to to have a good competition. I think. So we just arrived yesterday in Angadine Saint Moritz, and we now are at the top of Corvac. As you can see behind me, we are at more than 3,300 meters. Yeah, we are just. Right at the bottom of the Corvage, it looks um, all right. It, there are a lot of futures, features, so it's a, it's a good playground, I think. And yeah, we will see. First, I have to choose a line and then... Uh... Well, we are we all staying in Julia Palace? Or is someone just staying here? to Lauterbrunnen Valley and uh, recovered a little bit from skiing and did some base jumping. A bit of sleeping. I got sick, so I was kind of relaxing quite a bit. We ate some good food, so we some relaxed, and uh, tried to put our heads back in the game for this next event. And did you stretch a lot? Yeah, dude. I was stretching all night. <laughs> I on my run, it was a really fun line. I had a lot of fun doing it, but I was disappointed in my line choice. It was, <laughs> it was kind of on the uh, more conservative side. and I definitely feel like I could have skied a better line, considering the snow was, was absolutely perfect in that area. Yeah, we're a team. <laughs> we go on trips. We take video footage and uh, photographs. He edits the footage, I edit the photos and write stories. He's good at editing, I'm okay at writing. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's a team. Yeah, you know, I drive the rental car. <laughs> he Fred sits squirrel, there. Rubber ducky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I cook, Evo does the dishes. <laughs> I do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you're coming up the peak. See these gentlemen standing there? Because yeah. JT, yeah, yeah, he's a lot, um, so go... he's been doing this for a really long time and he has a lot more knowledge than I do. Me being super young, I don't have very much experience in the mountains with visual inspections and stuff like that. So I look to him a lot to, uh, to help me find and you know, he, he's really helpful about being like, that doesn't work or like, that works, that looks great. <laughs> I just started base jumping, JT's been uh, teaching me and that's good for uh, cross training because in, uh, in the states we have to we have to hike a long ways usually to jump off stuff so it's a good hike. You know I've been kind of thinking about that lately and it's definitely, I can go skiing without getting scared but I can't go base jumping without getting scared yet so I think that's a good thing because it keeps me uh, it keeps me safe so to, so to say but um, it's definitely like when I stand at the top of a competition venue Compared to when I'm standing on a cliff, I definitely have the same, the same feelings going. <laughs> I think though with the skiing, I get more anxious than scared. 